leo nimekuja niongeleshe wanaume <laughs> eh kwa leo paka mtadashindwa ujamaa amefikiriaje leo the truth is being a man saizi Kenya <laughs> si mchezo we kwa sababu venye uchumi unaendelea kuharibika ule ana gongo zaidi ni mwanaume whether you are married or unmarried <laughs> eh? whether you are married or unmarried the truth is precious za life sana sana was na gonga mwanaume kwa nini was na gonga mwanaume kwa sababu yeye ndio the head of the family <laughs> sasa leo tunaongea venye vitu ziko kwa ground kama wewe mwanaume you are not the head of the family then uko place baya the truth is kama mwanaume you have to be the head of the family familia inasaidia kupata guidance kutoka kwako whether you have money or not <laughs> eh na kweli ni kuwa hata kama mwanamke uko na mingi kuliko mwanaume na mmeoana the truth is uta need guidance kutoka mwanaume kuna kitu Mungu alipatia mwanaume kama the head of the family kwa sababu a genuine family aiezi ongozo tu ati hivyo ati ati mwanamke ana akue ati ana head the family sana a haiwezekani kwa sababu at some point you need that man akupatie direction now the truth is hiyo eh, uchumi umeendelea kuharibika ndio wanaume wengi wanaendelea kuwa na stress this year alone wale wanaume wame die by suicide ni wengi sana kwa sababu job zimeisha biashara zifanyi poa unapata mwanaume inafika pahali ana anaamua tu ah nimechachoka na history wacha tu nikafunge tu hmm? na ni mbaya sana <coughs> the truth is eh? for be, uh, any being a man in Kenya unapitia a lot eh? na yeye anataka kupatia nguvu wanaume wote wenye wanisikiza sasa utafanya nini nao venye iko sahi for the last like 20 years government of Kenya iliamua ku empower women now saizi mwanamke wa saizi si yule alikuwa like that years ago saizi mwanamke wa saizi ako na do ako na pesa ako, ali, walisoma kwa sababu hata saizi penye mimi niko mimi huona ya university yenye yenye mimi nishi karibu nayo wenye waenda kusoma huko wengi ni madem lakini watu wa boda wenye kwa hapo wengi wanagoja kwa bana boda boda ni wanaume. Yeye <laughs> ndio kweli wa mambo. A boy child amesaulika sana Kenya hii. It's po, ni poa tujulize ni wapi imvua ilianza kutupigia. Eh, kwa sababu sasa ukiangalia saa hizi maisha hayeni venye tulikuwa tunataka. Eh? Now hapa ina need a, a, mwanamke mwenye anafikiria sana aweze ku manage situation venye nakuja saa hii kwa sababu the truth is at some point wewe mwanamke ukikosa do mtu wangu <laughs> anakonaga wewe we ni bure kabisa <laughs> ina need a good woman mm? an understanding woman mwenye atajaribu at least kufunika mwanamume wake kabla vitu zikuepoa kwa sababu hizi problems hazikuwa za milele hata kaa job imeisha sahi. ama hata kaa biashara iliko chini sahi. jua tu at some point itakuja kuinuka mfani kumuke with a friend of mine wale chana wife now uh, hii mwaka actually is the second year yenye ale chana wife kwa sababu what happened job yake ilisha yote ya covid amenangana kutafuta ma job zile job anapata manze aziko zinafanya aishi na lifestyle alikuwa anaishi akiwa na job sasa ili happen siku moja amefika place ametumia savings zote ana do kwenda kwa nyumba akienda kwa nyumba jioni anapata family melala yote lakini hao inanukia mayai <laughs> lakini hakuna food <laughs> jamaa akakuwa mistreated akakuwa mistreated <laughs> baadaye alitoka tu kwa aliamua tu kwa chatu na hiyo wife na watu hii 
at least watriwa ilifika place mpaka watriwa yani wana go against him kwa sababu wamekuwa poisoned <laughs> makimawazo na, na the wife now the wife ako ako wakawachana now the guy ali this year akapata job poa sana now the lady alikuwa jaribu tena kurudi hmm? ni aibu gani i think wakati after kutoka covid kwenda hivi chini kama mwanamke wako ame stand na wewe walai muheshimu sana kwa sababu <laughs> Yeye alifanya mpaka wanaume unapata mtu ako, ako na gari kali lakini alikuwa anaenda kuuza viazi <laughs> kwa roadside kwa sababu <laughs> akiimagine oh, mile mambo atapatana nayo. <laughs> eh hapo ndio alifanya hata wanaume wengi wa hawk waamue tu kuingia kwa street wa hawk tu <laughs> wauze tu vitu kwa sababu sasa wakikumaja ile mambo iko home <laughs> inabaki tu ametii. Mimi naweza tu ambia tu wanawake kama unanisikiza na uko na wanaume wako pale muheshimu sana. Hizi shida sasa hizi kwa sababu sasa hizi kuna hard economic times. Si siri. Um, um make sure at least mnasaidiana kimawazo. Eh? kuwa a good helper kwa sababu mwanamke anastahili kuwa a helper. Na by the way, mimi uheshimu sana wanawake kwa sababu do you know as men sisi u provide the seed. Lakini factory <laughs> factory ya kutengenezwa binadamu anazaliwa ni mwanamke. Kwa sababu u provide the egg. So hapa hivi ni hivi. Nyinyi sisi wote ni wa maana. Na ni vizuri mwanamke ukiona hata mwanamume wako amelemewa kitu fulani, jaribu muongee, mkiti chini muongee. Kwa sababu sasa penye imefika sasa hizi na hii uchumi, if you are not careful, ni rahisi sana upate mwanamume amejisahau afanye vituko tu apige mwanamke. Na hiyo ni mbaya sana. 